So welcome everyone. We are today here at the Dragonette Cellars Winery in Buellton. And in light of the fact that it's a beautiful summertime season, I want to talk a little bit about Sauvignon Blanc and specifically our approach to Sauvignon Blanc in the really beautiful appellation of Happy Canyon. Uh, so Santa Barbara County itself, uh, we're a very cool weather region. Uh, we benefit from some transverse mountain ranges, which essentially means that the mountains in our area run east to west as opposed to north to south, like the rest of the coast of California. And in our, in our area, <clears throat> the positioning of where the vineyard is located within context of the ocean and those valleys is really critical in terms of microclimate, soils, and how that inter you know, interrelates uh, with the wine. And so Happy Canyon, what makes that area so special, it sits on the far eastern side of the valley, so it's essentially a warm spot in an otherwise very cool area. It also sits higher up at elevation, so it's the foothills of the San Rafael Mountains, and that is important for a couple different reasons. One is the soil profile. So Santa Barbara County is essentially ancient marine soils, but Happy Canyon is blessed with the occurrence of this other rock called serpentinite. And serpentinite is the state rock of California, which is a little factoid for you. And serpentinite is a fascinating rock. It's born geologically eight miles beneath the seafloor. So deep ocean crust that's then been through the metamorphic process of getting pushed on the land. And in Happy Canyon, it's there in just the right percentage. If there's too much serpentinite, plants won't grow. But in Happy Canyon, it's interspersed as cobbles throughout the vineyards. And so it provides drainage and minerality for wine. And then the other thing that's unique about that area is that it allows uh, a higher range of diurnal shift because the elevation's a little bit higher, so we have a little bit warmer daytime highs, but corresponding dramatically lower nighttime cooldown. And that's really good for the Sauvignon because you're allowed to get really rich tropical flavors. Fruit development's classic and really beautiful, but those cooler nights really preserve that critical level of acidity that we want in the wine. So the wine's really focused and refreshing. And what we have right here, if you're able to kind of pan around and look, we have a few different barrels that we use uh, within our Sauvignon Blanc program. And these different barrel sizes actually provide different structure and different seasoning to the Sauvignon. So there are some tools that we'll use uh, when they're complementary in order to build complexity into the finished wine. So for instance, for our Happy Canyon bottling, uh, we use a combination of stainless steel tanks, which you might be able to see way back in the background. And those stainless steel tanks provide components that give really great energy and lift to the wine, kind of highlight that citrus component, highlight the acidity. And then on the barrel side, we really believe that the concentration and level of flavor in Happy Canyon Sauvignon Blanc really lends itself well to the, the use of oak. The majority of the oak that we use is totally neutral. It's just uh, used to allow the wine to breathe a little bit and allow that beautiful acidity to be complemented by kind of layers of flavor and a little bit of a richer texture while that acidity can still maintain the center stage and focus. And each of the different barrels will, will really uh, allow us to kind of get different structural elements. So the smaller barrels, uh, those are barrels that hold to about 225 liters, kind of classic Burgundian barrels, about 25 cases of wine in each of those. And then the puncheon, this right here is 500 liters, so a little more than double a, a standard wine barrel. And the puncheons also have thicker stave wood. And what that does is it allows for a slower elevation, uh, elevage and a, a slower development of the flavor, which for Sauvignon Blanc is particularly critical because you want to keep that freshness of the fruit right at the forefront. And then the other uh, barrel that we'll use as a tool are these cigar, cigar barrels. And these, they're called cigars because they're longer and skinnier and it allows a more extended amount of leaves contact to give a little bit more uh, texture to the wine. These barrels uh, were actually originally designed by one of our, our great inspirations, DDA Dagenham. So he had these custom developed to allow for that longer uh, lees contact. Whether it's Sauvignon Blanc, whether it's our Santa Rita Hills Pinot Noir, or whether it's our Syrahs, is we're looking to you know, preserve the integrity and purity of the fruit and really, really focus on winemaking in a very minimalist style that just allows that purity of fruit to develop in whatever way you know, nature intends for that given vintage.
we're basically standing almost exactly on the very edge of Santa Rita Hills right now in, a, in the John Sebastiano Vineyard. In the areas that are inside the Appalachian, the tended to plant Pinot Noir, and on the outside, we have some Grenache here and some Syrah up in the top parts of the vineyard here. Um, this is the sort of the, I think we're region one here. We might be sli sliding into region two uh, technically. But we're on the bottom region one here still. So. Bottom region one. Yeah, yeah. So we have wind and fog that will be coming in here every afternoon. You can feel the wind that's coming in right now. It won't get to Happy Canyon for another hour and a half or so, so they have more daytime heat than we do here. But it's perfect because we get nice sunshine, lots of uh, warmth and everything to help ripen the grapes. But because it cools off in the afternoons with the fog and wind, we actually have, we can have a longer growing season. Um, by, the after, by the evening tonight, it'll be, you know, in the low 60s probably. So it's really a perfect climate for cool climate uh, versions of varietals like Grenache and Syrah. And then as you can see in the distance here, so we're on the eastern edge of Santa Rita Hills right now. We're facing east. And I love this view because you can actually see the progression. You can see the San Ynez range on our right, the San Rafael range on our left, and the mountains here are essentially in a due east-west direction. So where we're facing here, we're looking due east. And you can feel that wind funneling through, and it's going to cool the valley, just as John said, in increments, almost about a degree a mile in temperature shift. So as you head from the ocean in the west, towards the mountains in the east, you gain about a degree a mile. And so it really allows the ability to fine tune and plant grapes in the right place for the right microclimate. And so what we're standing on right now, this vineyard features Pinot Noir on the west side, Syrah and Grenache on the east side. And then as you head east in the valley and it warms up, the far side of the valley over there is where Happy Canyon sits. And so it sits in the foothills of the San Rafael Mountains. Again, as John said, higher daytime heat out there, but lower nighttime lows. So where this vineyard might tonight see a 25 degree diurnal shift, Happy Canyon will probably see about a 40 degree swing. So really important for the preservation of acidity. And of course, it's while just still beautiful. Allowing, while still allowing us to ripen Bordeaux varietals, which definitely need more heat than Grenache or particularly Pinot Noir. You know, you want to really moderate too much heat in Pinot, the sugar spikes before all the phenolics are there. Uh, the Bordeaux varietals need much more heat to get actual ripeness so you can you know avoid some of those green flavors that uh, can be that can be found in Bordeaux varietal and Sauvignon Blanc in particular which is what we do out in Happy Canyon so this this daytime heat is really critical in Happy Canyon for getting the ripe tropical type flavors that we love in Sauvignon Blanc but because of the evening cool down we still retain nice uh, perfect acidity which makes Happy Canyon Sauvignon Blanc so unique mm -hmm.